Hello again. So now the part of the main beam is almost done. Before we keep going, we need to check for the interference. To do so, go to Evaluate tab and then Interference Detection. I don't want you to change anything here, but just make sure that Make Interfering Bodies Transparent as selected and then simply hit Calculate. And as you can see, we have many, many interferences here. Now, to double check for what we have, we simply click this arrow here and it will show you the interference. So basically, this interference is between this body and this one, and the interference itself is this red zone here. If we keep going, we will see that we have some kind of interference here and it is this one. And the reason why we have it, I think I did a mistake while creating the end plate here. And I assume it will be the same here. Yes. So let's cancel the interference detection and let's go back to the first end plate, edit feature, and the problem is that mid-plane is selected. We need to make it blind. Or even a better thing to do. If you remember, we created a sketch that controls everything in the beginning, which is this one. I will show this sketch here. Make sure it's shown from here. Now hit the spacebar and make sure to be normal to this plane here. And now, instead of blind, let's do it up to vertex and simply select this one here, then hit OK. And let's do the same on the other side. Let's edit this feature. And instead of mid-plane, let's select up to vertex and also select this point. Now hit OK. Now let's select measure and the overall length should be 10 meters. Now it's correct. We go back to evaluate, interference detection, and let's do calculate again. And now we are talking about only two interferences. This is the first one here, and the second one, if we open this arrow and select it, it will be this one here. So what I suggest you to do is that we need to fill it, this edge here. And this fillet will be good for two main reasons. It will be good for the plasma cutting you will perform in the end and it will eliminate this interference even though this interference is not a big deal due to its size but it's better to do things the right way to do so let's select this part right click isolate and from features let's select fillet and i will go with five millimeters And let's check for the interference once again. Now we don't have any interference. Just a note on the side. It depends on your work style. Sometimes you will need to send these files to an operator to cut them on plasma cutting. So sometimes it's the operator's task to make sure that everything has fillets and he, he can do the fillet thing. If not, you will have to do it yourself, so it depends on the way you do it. For this case, I will assume that the operator will take care of these things, so I will not fill it every corner I have here. I only filleted this one in order to have a clean model. I don't want to have any interference in the end. Now, if you remember, we already had an offset of 650 millimeters from the right plane, and the reason for doing that is that I wanted this plane to be used as a mirror plane of this main beam. 
Now to do so, let's select mirror and for the plane I will select the right and make sure to go to bodies and here simply select everything. Sometimes you will face a problem mirroring the sheet metal features all together with the, with the other solid bodies but it's not a big deal you can accept this for now and then let's repeat again now you simply select all the sheet metal features now let's have a look at the cut list here as you can see, everything is categorized in subfolders, which is good. And this is another way of double checking the symmetry of your work. For example, if you select this and these two bodies are in the same folder, that means they are identical. They have the same shape. They are, they are exactly the same. And the same goes for all the bodies here. So as you can see, at this point, we almost have two copies of everything. Now it's the time to deal with these I sections here. One important aspect to keep in mind that we will need to create some kind of cuts here in order to insert these I sections. They need to have some clearance in order for them to fit easily. So for this reason, I will need to have one millimeter offset all around. To do that, I know the beam will start somewhere here, the top face of the beam, the, the flange. So that's why I will need to keep in mind that I need one millimeter offset from this face here. To do that, I will select reference geometry and I will create a plane here, which is only one millimeter away from this face down. Now select this face again, sketch. And in order to know which side I'm at, I will need to rotate it a little bit. Then I know I'm here, which is fine. I will select midpoint line and draw something like this. First thing, we need to make sure it's horizontal. And then I need it to lie vertical with this point here. I need the overall length of it. Now, the overall length of the whole trailer will be 2500 millimeters. We will need to reduce this value a little bit later, but for now, let's do it this way. Also, I need one millimeter clearance from the end plate here. Once you're done with this, exit the sketch. And now let's insert from weldments, structural member, I need to select the DIN standard and from here I will need to go with the IBE and I need it to be 80. Now show the sketches and select this one. Hit the space bar and let's have this view and from this menu let's select locate profile and select this upper point here then hit ok hide the sketches just for you to better visualize it i will pick a different color of this one so now i'm coloring this on the body level give it any random color And now, as you can see, we have the clearance we already talked about. Now, I need to pattern this. It will be done normal to the front. And also here again, make sure to select bodies. The distance will be around 500 millimeters. And we need it 
and we need it up to this point and the total of 20 members hit ok now it's the time to create the cut I will select the right plane zoom in and now I will select offset only one millimeter then select this face here then hit ok so once this done exit the sketch and from features select extruded cut and make sure to select through all both and here it asks you for feature scope in other words it asks you which bodies to cut so for now i will select i want to cut this one and this one then hit ok and then hit ok once again and now if i hide this part here you will see that I will have this kind of cut now in order to make it easier for the feature scope I will go back to the sketch and I will select linear pattern the x-axis is already selected and go down for entities to pattern I will simply select this one it will take the whole section and now I need to reverse the direction and I need this to be 500 and I need 20 items we got lucky here it doesn't interfere with the world bead that much and we need to check here and to check here it's okay now I'm not really a big fan of underdefined sketches so if you try to drag this sketch here you can drag it so simply select ctrl Z and pick a smart dimension and just list it between any two items here in the horizontal direction and now you will have a fully defined sketch now exit the sketch and if you notice we will have the cut but not everywhere I will hide all the eye beams and as you can see we only have the cut in this body and in this one and that's because we chose the feature scope to be only these two bodies now to solve this issue we go down and now select this one this one this one that was a mistake this one now if you have a look again everything has the cut now I will select this one hold shift select the last one then show and here we go next we will talk about the supports here 